welcome to this week's episode of Wine Wednesdays with your host, me, Michelle Ray. This week, we have a really special guest, as you can see, to the beautiful woman on my left, maybe your right, still figuring out how this shit works, but Kathy <laughs> Reed, one of my best friends, amazingly talented singer-songwriter, and she is here to hang with us. Hi, Kathleen. Hello. Hi, thank you for having me on this. I'm so excited. I watch all of these, so this is an honor for me to be involved. Really? Now. So what did I sing in episode two? <laughs> Liar. <laughs> oh, Michelle, I have no <laughs> memory. <laughs> no? Uh, what if I was like, Ew, I, I know. Do. I actually remember. <laughs> <laughs> so this month's wine has been One Hope, which is an incredible wine company. It has amazing wine blends, and also every single bottle has gone to a different charity. And we sent Kathleen one of the reds that she'll be drinking today. This bottle in particular funds healthy meals to end hunger. So let's pop this bottle. Yay. You got it now. Okay. <laughs> this isn't my thing. <laughs> On shell. Okay, I think I got enough. People are watching. Hey, you there you go. Did you hear yeah. that? I literally knocked down things on my side. Ooh, okay, this is for Kat. Thank you for on Wine Wednesday. Okay, cheers. Yeah. Yay. Mm. So the tasting notes for this very powerful bottle of champagne are golden apple, pear, brioche, and citrus. Mm. Dropping the fourth cork. Happy fourth episode of Wine Wednesday, everyone. Woo! Woo Please tell us about yourself and thank you so much for singing today, what you're gonna sing and all of that good stuff. Yeah. Um, Okay, I'm a singer-songwriter currently living in Nashville, Tennessee. I was born in Boston, big Patriots fan, big like football girl anyway. I think I'm kind of like on the tomboy side. I'm an Enneagram 4. I have a blue healer puppy. Uh, and I pretty much spend most of my days writing music and trying to uh, meet people online at this point. It sounds so awkward. So creepy. No, but obviously, you know, right now for an artist, it's like such an odd world. And so I feel like a lot of my days, speaking of wine, involve me writing music and drinking wine and like kind of just chilling inside, really. Trying to make the most of your days now as, a, as an artist. It's definitely yeah. a hard, a hard time to navigate, but um, I feel good. I put out a good amount of music last year and got a great response on it. And I'm just now writing more and have a single coming out March 26th. So as far as music goes, that's kind of like what's on the horizon, but. Um, and also I want yeah. to correct, you just hit 1 million plays, right? All around. So I have, yes, I have 1 million total plays on Apple Music. Incredible. Which is really exciting. Yeah, it's definitely. Yeah. yeah, that was a really cool milestone for me. Um, I've never had like 1 million anything dollars friends like you <laughs> did. um oh. so yeah that, that's been really good i'm i'm hoping that um my song the gentleman which was probably like my song from my last ep that got the most response um that one hopefully crossing fingers is on its way to a million I'm as sure. well a million oh, that, right. that'll be my first individual but yeah so everyone go stream it so we could celebrate a million on the gentleman. Yeah, just drink wine and listen to it. It's kind of a sad song. Actually, it's the song I want to play, so we'll be able to listen to it a little anyway. Yay. I met Michelle on season four of The Voice, which was ages ago at this point. They've really- I it out loud how long ago. <laughs> I know, they've blossomed a lot of talent since then. So we're like, we're like wildly like we're old the OG. people. Okay, the OG. Um, yeah, I was super young when I mean, we both were when I was doing that. But I remember my mom had to come with me because I was like hardly 18. And so, yeah, I felt like from the get go, like flying to LA with my mom, I was like, there's no way I'm gonna like make friends. It's so embarrassing. I'm gonna be like the kitty corner all the time. Like, what's happening? 
um I really thought it was like my time to be independent and then like at the last minute they were like oh and your mom like she has to come because you're like a company minors and I was like and which so, is awesome yeah and I want people to know Karen is like a huge personality so she's the best so she's like when you know when Karen is there yeah no that's what I was gonna say like my um, truly made more friends that entire season than I did, I think. Like, I just remember everybody being like, I love your mom's accent. Like, she has, like, the thickest Boston accent. She was, like, making friends real quick. Really, the only great friend, I, I made a few handful of friends that now I'm closer to just because of living in Nashville and a lot of people from music obviously end up moving here. But right. Michelle was, like, definitely the person I, like, latched on to. And we were, like, very close, very quick. And it was kind yeah. of, like, two of us. And it was really special. No? Yeah. Like, I feel like in that time, like, you're totally not expecting to, like, meet a lifelong friend. Like, everybody's there to kind of, like, make something happen. And there's so much, like, so many nerves and, like, so much right. going on in that moment that I think the last thing you think is, like, how long you're going to know these people you're, like, randomly associated with all of a sudden. <laughs> so, well, I, yeah, I want to say that when we do these types of competitions, I know, like, we've had conversations about this as an artist, when you go to auditions and you kind of, come across a lot of different types of personalities. Some people who try to like sing and intimidate you and all that fun stuff, you know, that comes with the path of life that we've yeah. chosen. And I think like, besides being absolute weird, weird loser nerds, which is why we connected so quickly, um, I felt like the genuine feeling from you of like, oh, I actually want you to do well. And I had the same thing for you. Like, I loved hearing you sing and I, like immediate was like, holy shit, this girl is so talented. She's so good, I want her to do well. And it's rare to find people who genuinely want your friends in the same career to do well. So I yeah. think that was definitely something that we latched on to, like the genuine, like I actually really want you to do well because you're amazing and a good person and weird. Yeah, aw, no, that's so true. Like when you put it that way, that is so true. Like those competitions, they can make you feel really like, really doggy dog and I think that energy and that idea even in music or any career of any form is so negative because like yeah. I love I love the quote Mark told me this once and we say it all the time now but it's like a wave moves all ships and so it's like if you're on a wave it's going well like everybody can move with that you don't have to wish people to like not perform well like the idea that there's only so much space for like a certain amount of people is like I just think that's like an escape route for a lot of artists, that mentality. And so that's so true. Like I think from the get-go, you and I were both like, yeah, we're surrounded by like the most talented people I had ever met in my life, you know? It was like such an interesting experience. But yeah, I mean, you listen to people sing all day, every day in those situations, like band rehearsals and, you know, fake blind auditions and all yeah. this stuff. And you're like, wow, like I am really in a solid group of performers here. And I think that can either like defeat you or you can go like, all right, well, you know, may the best performer win, you know, it's like, whatever. Right. And there's, there's going to be opportunities and, and you move on. Like, I think, yeah, I think the people that get disappointed in those things are the people who like hang their hat on like one opportunity. And I think that's just, that's just not the way to live life. Like you should always be wanting to find those for yourself and, and just like get better and meet cool people. Yeah. I mean, honestly, it, I feel like it, puts you, should make you feel better about yourself if you're surrounded by talented people. You'd rather be surrounded by talented people and be like, oh wow, I'm honored to be even considered in the same realm as these people, rather than being like, I'm better than all of you and like, totally. Great. Yeah. You want to well, grow, even you say that now. challenge yourself, like, yeah. Yeah. No, I feel like we both are like big advocates for just like never being the smartest person in the room. You know, you always want to be like leveling up and learning from other people and yeah, I think that's like something that we both strive to do in careers. And I think that's like what pushes you forward slowly and at like a good pace and 100%. it's like a healthy way of doing things. <laughs> yeah. Think. Do you to sing? Oh, I'd love to. Yay. Okay, so what do I always say? What pairs perfectly with a glass of wine? Music. And now we have Kathleen Regan performing her hit single, The Gentleman. He looks like a gentleman, a rare sight for Los Angeles, but she was young. She put 
four through life for skeletons. But when she asked about his ex girlfriends, he said they were dumb. She said, Why'd you say? And then he got mad. How do you sleep at night? Do you sleep with one eye open? Aren't you scared of all of working? Are you terrified that all the wrong you did in life would all come back around sometime? Will you wake in the bright and bright? Do your ghost sing you a lullaby? She loved that photo on his Instagram, where he looked just like his old man that rubbed him wrong. So she'd slowly start to understand how he victimized the two women and how his hard times were someone else's fault. How do you sleep at night? Do you sleep with one eye open? Aren't you scared of all you've broken? Are you terrified that all the wrong you did I'll come back around sometime. Will you wake in the bright and bright? Or do your ghost sing you a lullaby? like a gentleman, a rare sight for Los Angeles, in Yeah! That was gorgeous. Kathleen's lyrics, besides her stunning melodies that always give me chills, and her voice, are just so good. Um, you are such a talented songwriter, so I'm really excited and honored that you are on my show. Thank you. <laughs> Duh. Everybody Thank check you. that out on Spotify. Uh, where, tell us where we could find The Gentleman. Everywhere. Apple Music, Amazon, Pandora has it. I mean, it, truly anywhere you listen to music, um, it'll be there. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you next episode for wine and even more music. Cheers! Cheers!